President Joe Biden has issued a bold challenge to his predecessor, former President Donald Trump, proposing a series of debates in the lead-up to the November 2024 presidential election. In a move that shuns the traditional debate format overseen by the Commission on Presidential Debates, CPD, Biden's campaign has outlined specific terms and conditions for the debates. The Biden campaign, led by Chair Jen O'Malley Dillon, has dispatched a letter to the CPD, informing them of the president's decision to decline invitations to debates organized by the commission. The campaign cites the CPD's perceived inability to enforce rules for candidates during the 2020 debates and the substantial audiences that can disrupt the proceedings as the primary reasons for this decision. The chaotic first debate between Trump and Biden in 2020 serves as a prime example of these issues. The event saw Trump frequently interrupting Biden and the moderators struggling to regain control, resulting in a disorganized and contentious exchange. Both Trump and Biden secured their respective party nominations in mid-March, paving the way for a rematch in the race for the White House. In a series of social media posts on X, the reformed Twitter platform, President Biden recalled Trump's defeat in their previous debates during the 2020 election and challenged him to two debates, poking fun at Trump's ongoing hush money trial by commenting on his availability on Wednesdays. The Biden campaign has proposed two alternative debate dates, June 14th and September 20th. The campaign's letter to the CPD emphasizes that President Biden is committed to participating in debates, but wants to ensure a fair and impartial process. The letter further outlines the president's stance on debates sponsored by the CPD, a nonpartisan organization that has overseen presidential debates since 1988. Trump, who was infamous for his verbal sparring during the 2016 and 2020 presidential debates, has yet to respond directly to Biden's challenge. However, the former president has frequently dared Biden to engage in debates, keeping an empty podium at his rallies and insinuating that Biden would not be able to handle the challenge. During an interview with Howard Stern last month, Biden had signaled his openness to debating Trump, stating, I am somewhere, I don't know when, but I'm happy to debate him. Biden reiterated his intention to debate during a White House event last week, telling reporters, set it up. Trump and his team have expressed objections to the scheduled debates by the Commission on Presidential Debates, with the Trump campaign issuing a statement on May 1st, stating that the schedule begins after early voting, and that this is unacceptable because voters deserve to hear from the candidates before casting their ballots. Trump emphasized the importance of debates during a Pennsylvania rally prior to the commencement of his hush money trial, asserting, we have to debate because our country is going in the wrong direction so badly. We have to explain to the American people what the hell is going on. The Biden campaign's decision to propose alternative debate dates and challenge Trump to set the dates has added an intriguing twist to the debate saga. The political landscape is eagerly awaiting Trump's response and the eventual outcome of this debate debate. In a direct-to-camera video released on Wednesday, President Biden taunted his predecessor, stating, Donald Trump lost two debates to me in 2020. Since then, he hasn't shown up for a debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Biden continued, Well, make my day, pal. I'll even do it twice. So let's pick the dates, Donald. I hear you're free on Wednesdays. This unfolding situation is a breaking news story, and as more information becomes available, the article will be updated accordingly. The Biden campaign's proposal for two debates in June and September, coupled with the president's challenge to Trump, has set the stage for a potential showdown between the two leaders. The Commission on Presidential Debates, a nonprofit organization that has overseen presidential debates since 1987, announced its debate schedule earlier this year. The debates are scheduled for September 26th, October 11th, and October 19th. The Commission has not yet responded to the Biden campaign's proposal. This back and forth between the two presidents comes as the country grapples with various issues, including inflation, the ongoing pandemic, and foreign policy challenges. The debates, if they do take place, could provide an opportunity for the two leaders to address these issues head on and engage in a public discourse. President Biden's campaign has made it clear that the president is willing to participate in debates, but on his own terms. 
The decision to shun the CPD and propose alternative dates suggests a strategic move to gain control over the debate format and ensure a fair playing field. The Biden campaign's letter to the CPD emphasizes the importance of a fair and impartial process, which may be a response to the perceived issues with the 2020 debates. The campaign's proposal for two debates in June and September could be an attempt to secure a larger audience and engage with voters before early voting begins. Trump's response to Biden's challenge will be crucial in determining the future of the debates. The former president's court schedule, which Biden alluded to in his video, has been a topic of interest in recent weeks, with Trump facing multiple legal battles. As the 2024 presidential election approaches, the debate saga between Biden and Trump is likely to continue capturing the attention of the nation. The outcome of this debate debate could have significant implications for the election and the future of American politics.